Hi, uh, I'm Jonathan. Um, I'm from Indiana. Uh, I was born there, grew up there, went to school there. But I was actually studying in Los Angeles this last semester. And so as I road trip back across the country for graduation, I'm having the most amazing time. Not because I'm on the road all day or I sleep in my car, but because I'm seeing parts of the country that I've only ever seen in photos. And I've gotten to reconnect with cousins I've never really known. You asked me what I was interested in and I could tell you those things like travel and meet new people and yeah, I love that, but my true passion is to tell stories. I think one of the reasons why I want to see the world and why I want to meet strangers along the way is because I want to tell better ones. You know, some of the greatest things I've learned in this life have come just from listening to other people tell their stories. Uh, it's why I love things like soccer, because its ability to captivate us through story is so special. It's why I hate laugh tracks, because I think they take away from the story. Uh, no, I... Uh, I'm going to be an Oscar winner one day, and I'm also going to be a father one day, and I think those are two things that I can do with what little time I have to make a real positive impact. Everyone has their own voice in this world, but what I think makes mine so special is I think I like to listen just as much as I like to use it. And what I mean is to say that when I do use my voice, it's a collection of everything that I've learned and experienced and taken with me, and it's better for that. I mean, I personally have this deep love for learning. It, it's truly what motivates me. It's why I want to travel the world and see communities and eat food and listen to music from cultures that I know nothing about because I can only learn from it. I mean, I personally like pineapple on pizza and I can say that because I've tried it. Um, and that's what you get with me. You get someone who takes risks and a perspective of someone who wants to take risks. I mean, this last Oscars, we had a win from a, a movie that had an all-female cast and Bollywood was in the spotlight. That's what I love to see, that's what I want to see, and I want to continue to be a part of the changing landscape of cinema because I just don't want to be boring. The Truman Show and Better Call Saul are two things I love to go back and watch because the way they develop a character and their attention to detail is just so masterful that it leaves something new for you to discover every time you rewatch it. Um, I'm a lover of all media, including books, and since I can't be reading, I'll be listening to the words of Kurt Vonnegut in Slaughterhouse-Five and uh, Yuval Harari in his book Sapiens as I drive back across the country. Um, ever since I started working in development, I've been keeping up with the trades, so Deadline, Hollywood Reporter, Variety, not necessarily in that order, but you know, every day clinging on to the words of whether or not, you know, movie theaters are still going to be around. Um, and if it's not any of those, it's Twitter, because I think it's important to listen to, you know, what the people have to say. So I don't know if this is a, a good look or a bad look for me, but um, the first character I thought of was uh, Chris Pratt's Andy from Parks and Rec. And um, yeah, he's sort of the bumbling fool, but it's his aspect on perspective on life that I, I, I truly admire. He's so optimistic, he's so positive with both the good things and the bad things that come his way. He just, he, he, he just takes them on in stride and he, he will go to great lengths for those that he loves and he's also so true to himself. He, he, his character, he knows who he is and he, and he doesn't let other people, you know, discourage him. And, um, and, I, and I just love that about him and I sort of have always tried to, you know, be a little bit like that. I think we could all benefit from being a little bit more like Andy. Thanks for joining me. Uh, let me introduce you to the guests. Um, over here to my right, we have Buster Keaton. I mean, one of the greatest filmmakers of all time, revolutionized cinema. You know, his films still stand up today. If you haven't seen any of them, don't talk to me. All right, moving on, we have the king of hip hop. I call him Sean, because we're like that. You probably call him Jay-Z. I mean, married to Beyonce, he's a self-made man, his music's great, what more does he gotta do? Um, moving up top, we've got Marcus Aurelius, I mean, the greatest emperor of the greatest empire of all time. I mean, I think he could probably teach me something. Uh, moving on, we have the little Argentine himself, Mr. Lionel Messi. I mean, we established I'm a soccer fan. I think he's the greatest of all time. He's gotta be here. Uh, and last, but definitely not least, we've got the late, we've got the great, Mr. Robin Williams. I mean, whew. do I need to go further? All right, guys, uh, thanks for joining me. I've been Jonathan. Uh, until I hear from you, uh, take care.